time to get started with this Nintendo Direct here. We are about nine minutes out. They're not playing any music, so I've brought some of my own. Hmm. Hmm. It's the greatest. It's the greatest. It's probably gonna get this shit claimed. Who cares? Uh, we got 40 minutes of Nintendo footage coming up here. It says right here, roughly 40 minutes of information focused mainly on Nintendo Switch games launching this winter. Uh, we're probably gonna get... Probably gonna get a Smash character. We might get some Bayonetta 3, probably some Pokemon. Uh, we could get some Silk Song. I think that was a rumor. Uh, some Met Metroids in two weeks. They said mainly on Switch games coming this one. I mean, we might get like a a Metroid trailer, maybe. Uh, you really think we see Bayonetta three? I have to say that we're gonna see Bayonetta three for the uh, Copium uh, users in the chat. But, uh, yeah. I just like this music. Uh, suffice to say, I don't really think anything they're going to show I'm, like, super stoked for. Um, I, wa I didn't really enjoy Hollow Knight from what I played of it. Bayonetta 3 is always a fun time, but I'm not like, fuck yeah, Bayonetta. Uh, so I'm going in with the lowest of low expectations, which means I'll probably come out of this feeling a lot better than 99% of the viewers. Um, I don't think we'll see any uh, Zelda stuff. I love a new Mario thing. I think Twitter was talking about a new Kirby game. I think there was a Kirby thing that leaked or rumored or something like that. Something like that. <laughs> So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. A new Marvel Ultimate Alliance would be swag. That last one was pretty rough. I wish it came to the PC. New Fire Emblem, that'd be kind of hype. I don't think we'd get a Fire Emblem though. Three three weeks or three months out. They would, they would hype that like uh, a shit ton. They would hype that a lot. Um, 40 minutes though, you know? Who knows? Who knows? Could be a lot. Could be a lot. Is Splatoon still relevant? It is, but it's not coming out this uh, Christmas. So by that estimation, no. Uh, I'm going to turn their volume down and unmute just in case they start playing stuff here. Average Joe, thanks for 51. I just like this song. I wonder how they come up with this song. It's like not that uh, difficult. You know? It's just kind of good. It's catchy. It's into it. Hey, we're running ads. Beautifully timed ads there. We're going to run ads right before this starts. So pre-rolls are turned off. In... Incredible. How long is this? Well, I don't, you know, I'm getting kind of, uh, I'm sensing something here that it's going to be roughly about probably 40 minutes, give or take, is what uh, I've been hearing. Several industry insiders have been, uh, saying, um, 
but you know it, it you know you never know you never know you never really know nintendo likes to switch it up from time to time so who could really say how long this is going to be uh i'm i'm nda'd out of my mind so i can't uh i can't really comment on it uh but yeah i'm i'm gonna go with like maybe 40 minutes perhaps perhaps hey, if you don't want to see these ads too bad you're already seeing them I, I can't do my spiel you're already watching the ads chat what about you guys what would you guys freak the fuck out if you saw Xenoblade, Fire Emblem, Metroid Prime 2, Chrono Trigger Remake, Remaster, Fire Emblem or Pokemon, Silk Song, Biton Kaitos, Sora for Smash, Persona 5, Persona 5 Royale would actually be pretty sick on a Switch. Anything new and big. Probably not going to see that. Probably won't see that. Elden Ring port. Maybe. Maybe. Joe Biden and Smash. I think about half the population would probably play him, at least in the U.S., Be a very divided character. Uh, we're two minutes out. Do you think they start early? Nintendo is usually pretty good at starting on time. Will I get another ad during the show? Uh, no, I'll turn ads off. Actually, no, you won't, because it's only 40 minutes long. So, no, I'm going to leave mom, but you won't see him. All right, we're under a minute, chat. Who's to say what we may see I'm gonna go with we're gonna see an adaptation of a popular film what dreams may come featuring Robin Williams uh, in video game form I think that's what uh, we're gonna come up here and see in the next uh, several minutes that's what I've got. Big if true. I'm going to fade this music out because they're about to start any second. Right? Maybe. Maybe. Hey! Huh. Okay, sure. Well, COVID disclaimer right at the start. Zelda. You know it's a Switch game because it looks 2 FPS. Oh, Monster Hunter. What is this? Oh, it's this guy. Is he coming to rise? Isn't this Ultreon or whatever his name is? Ooh. 
That's the next full Monster Hunter Rise expansion. Ooh, that's coming out uh, next summer. Might be big. Massive expansion. Might be all right. Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hello. What you just saw was the first trailer for Monster Hunter Rise, Sunbreak, the massive expansion for Monster Hunter Rise. You know what's going to be funny? They're going to release Monster Our Hunter. Our friends at Capcom are working on many Rise. new elements that will enhance the experience on PC while this comes Monster out on Hunter Switch. Rise, including new stories, locales, monsters, and, although not touched on in the trailer, new hunting actions and quest rank. Oh, quest rank! Monster rank. Hunter Rise Sunbreak is scheduled to release as paid DLC in summer Big 2022. Big true. Please stay tuned for more information in the future. All right, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. We did it. Damn it, his snap is so much better. Party during the day or at night. A Mario game? It's almost time to party in the oh, Mario Party Superstars me. game. Along with Spaceland and Peach's birthday cake, several other boards make their return. I hate it. Take a stroll around Woody Woods, but watch out for those Monty Moles. They'll change is, the board's so direction when you least expect it. Travel between two islands and Yoshi's tropical island. Why is he jumping on so a that's giant the star, But she might swap places with Bowser at the last second. Party day and night in Horrorland. That King Boo statue is harmless during the day, but at night, it'll swipe stars from unsuspecting players. Need a break from boards? Head to Mount Minigames and play in minigame only courses. And no, why? Players no. Worldwide for the Those longest are some of the worst games survival. ever created. We'll work together in the cooperative multiplayer tag match. Mount no. Minigames will have seven courses available. All boards and minigames support online play. Oh, that's so big. Invite family, friends, and frenemies, and get ready for the party. Welcome of a to lifetime. you know, 2003. Mario Party Three. Superstars launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Was that announced? A new RPG is in the cards. Excuse me. Welcome to Voice of Cards. Oh, I'm doing the voiceover. Music seems good. At the Queen's behest, you'll set off on a fantastical journey to slay a fearsome dragon for honor and fortune. Everything in this realm is represented as cards, from the protagonists, to shops, towns, huh. and environments. In this fresh take on tabletop RPGs, you'll square off in turn-based card battles, where your skills and a little bit of luck will determine the victor. Can I just have the soundtrack? A spellbinding experience from the creative minds of Yoko Taro and Yosuke Saito is about to unfold. Wow. That's a big... Uh... Voice of Cards, The Isle Dragon Roars, launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre-orders and a free demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. Wow, that's next month. The fuck? Become a hero or an absolute disaster of a human being. Oh, interesting. You awaken in a hotel room in the city of Revishal, devoid of your memories. That's pretty Soon, cool. You learn that you're a detective and get entangled in a strange murder case in the groundbreaking role playing adventure Disco Elysium The Final Cut. As you interrogate people and uncover clues, I wonder if that allows touchscreen support. To investigate, you'll need the help of the 24 skills living within you. Your behaviors and available choices will change depending on how you develop these skills, directly impacting how the story progresses.
What sort of detective will you become? Disco Elysium, the final cut, launches digitally on Nintendo Switch October 12th. The That's physical cool. version of the game will launch early 2022. Pre-orders for the digital version begin today on Nintendo eShop. All this stuff's coming out in October. Uncover more stories in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. All right, guys, I'm going to go sleep for like two minutes. I'll be right back. It seems I owe him as well. Yeah. The king of Hyrule must not fall! You know, you're pretty good for a little kid. We'd better partner up on this, don't you think? They won't harm I'm back. Oh, God. Jesus. Put me back into it. It put me back into it. Oh. Ready, set, Chocobo. What? Start your engines a kart and get racer? set for a new racing experience. Race as familiar Final Fantasy characters like Chocobo and Gilgamesh to be the first to cross the finish line. Edge <laughs> <laughs> out the competition by using drift boost to cut corners. Mario Kart Magical Chocobo. Magical stones called magicites are contained inside items. How would I do this when I could just go to the gold saucer magic like fire Final Fantasy and fire arrow 14. to blast away opponents? Acquire magicites of the same element to cast even more powerful spells. Yeah, how is Ultros not in here? Each racer also has a special ability. Use it at the right time to turn the tables. I mean, this is literally Mario Kart. Engine customization options will be available, as well as local and online multiplayer. Up to 64 players can compete in a bracket-style tournament to determine the racing champion. What the fuck? Chocobo GP races exclusively onto Nintendo Switch next year. Wait, this is 2022. What did you think? Before we show you our next video, we have some news about the last fighter for the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate oh, Game. Oh, shit! Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal this fighter in the final Mr. Sakurai Presents video on October 5th. Oh, it's not going to be here. He'll also show you how to use this fighter, so please look forward to it. What if it's him? What if it's Mr. It's Sakurai? It's been about three years since the game was released. This will be the last presentation about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I hope you'll check it out. I hope it's him. Next, please take a look at this. Got it. I did it. What is this? The Last of Us. It's probably Kirby, right? You think this is Splatoon? Oh no, it's Kirby. Very well animated Kirby. Kirby's like a cockroach. He's the only Nintendo IP that remains. Why didn't he eat those dogs?
Kirby, eat something. What are you, a fucking vegan now? There we go. Wow, it's like one FPS. Looks all right. I just wish this wasn't on like six year old hardware. It'll be seven year old hardware when it comes out. It that can was vote the trailer for by the Kirby time that game the comes out. Land. In this new game, you can freely move around in 3D areas using familiar Kirby moves. The setting also appears to be mysterious, filled with abandoned structures from a past civilization. What lies in store for Kirby? The game is scheduled to release in spring 2022. We hope you'll look forward to Kirby's new adventure. Next, we have this to show you. Please take a look. Um, oh, he didn't snap. Oh, shit. That's because Tom Nook's about to snap. He wants his money. What is the roost? Why is everyone freaking out about the roost? I don't even know what that is. Since its launch in 2020, the Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been enjoyed by many players around the world. New free content will arrive in November. In preparation for its release, we will be airing an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct in October. In it, we'll go over the content in October's more detail. October's gonna be busy for directs. Please be on the lookout for the air date of this presentation. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. We got it. Two games, one game update, and lots of fun. Okay. Four. More free content is coming to the Mario Golf Super Rush game. I'm out. I'm out. Koopa Troopa Next. enters the fairway as a playable character. Nice shot. Dish out tricky shots and dashes to mess with the competition. Ninja this game kind of failed. Playable. Uh, it was all right. Take advantage of Ninji's blinding speed to outpace opponents. Two courses are also being added. These additions will come swinging in as a free software update later today. Oh, wow, that's nice. What's this? An invitation. What? You're invited to live in a magical world with Mickey uh, Mouse and dozens of Disney characters. Okay, I thought this was a Kingdom Hearts thing. Spend time with Disney friends, craft your own whimsical costumes and furniture, and explore wow, delightful Disney-themed worlds. All Don't do it, Disney! From the original Get the fuck DS away from me, Mr. Mouse! Disney Magical World I'll 2 scream. Enchanted Edition. Soar I'll do it! To Nintendo Switch this holiday. Get away! Oh, shit. A beloved shit. Star Wars game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Blast off to captivating wow. planets and join forces with Jedi, droids, Here's the and remake, outcasts guys. in this blend of action, role-playing, and adventure. Will you use the Force for good, or will you be it's lured out. to the, the dark side? Your choices determine the galaxy's fate in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Launching wow. on Nintendo Switch November 11th. Huge. I can't believe they got it done this Nintendo fast. E -shop. It's not even going to run at 60 FPS. There's one thing you must always remember. Stay human. 
This They're gonna put this the game on the Switch. Humanity's last stronghold against a virus that turns people no into the undead. No way. In the cloud version That's of gonna... Dying Light 2, stay what? human. You'll need to master both parkour We're and We're getting cloud games now on the Switch. This brutal open-world action RPG. Explore alone, or with up to three other players in online co-op as what one the of the dark secrets of those in power during the day. Then plunder the layers of the infected at night. They've had Your it for a while. Will shape the story, but they'll also have consequences. No matter where your actions lead you, there's one thing you must always remember: stay human. While you're at it, take the prequel on the go in Dying Light. This is out later Platinum today. Edition. Scavenge for supplies, craft weapons, and With face hordes of the infected right here. in a post-apocalyptic open Doom and Control world. are also cloud Dying games on Light Switch. Does it run human. well? Cloud version launches on Nintendo Switch February 4th, 2022. A free demo will also launch the same day on Nintendo eShop. Dying Light Platinum Edition comes to Nintendo Switch October 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Huh. Utility, morality, or liberty. What's this? In Triangle Strategy, a fiery chronicle of war presented in stunning HD 2D. My apologies. Your actions will lead you through a riveting story that changes based on the decisions you make. Might be good. In the end, real will your stupid name. Guide you. you have gone to the one place I cannot follow. In response to the survey about the demo released in February of this year, the game has been fine tuned with a focus on elements that received lots of feedback. These include adjustments to the difficulty, improvements to on screen visuals. Camera angle controls. The ability to review previous dialogue. And streamlined game flow and loading times. This looks good. More details are now available on Nintendo. When does this come out? Splendid. Triangle Strategy will launch on Nintendo oh. Switch March 4th, 2022. Are they gonna rename it? Because it's probably got the stupidest name I've ever heard of Nintendo for a Wii video shot. game. This, this will probably be a pretty good game, right? I don't know if I want to play a Metroid game on air, though. like the OG Metris. Or Metris? What? It's the OG, OG Metroid. So how can that like be bad? Samus Aran, the most powerful bounty hunter oh, in the galaxy, wrong. embarks on a new mission to the uncharted planet ZDR. Her objectives? Confirm whether the deadly X-Parasite still exists, and figure out why the Emmy research robots in search of it have mysteriously gone dark. ZDR is, uh... The next Early readings reveal it's above that HDR. ZDR is divided into multiple environments, each with its own elements. Doesn't this come out and same day as Guardians of the Galaxy? Remnants of the mighty Chozo civilization are also scattered throughout, including evidence that the Chozo may have once called the planet their home. Visit metroid.nintendo.com to read Metroid Dread Report Volume 8 for a detailed oh, account of the terrain That's and like life forms weeks. you may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. Be sure to view the other Metroid Dread reports there as well. You'll want to prepare yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. Metroid Dread launches on Nintendo Switch October 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Might be pretty alright. 
How was that? Up next, we have okay. news about Nintendo Switch Online. Oh. Many people have been using Nintendo Switch Online since it launched in September 2018. Have you learned more about the internet? In addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership plan. What? As a part of this new plan's content. Well, fuck. You'll be able to play a collection of Nintendo 64 games. The Nintendo 64 system launched 25 years ago. These motherfuckers, I think the chat. system gave many players their first 3D gaming experiences, as well as intense four-player multiplayer action. With Nintendo Switch, up to four people can play select Nintendo 64 games locally or online. Wow. Also, with this new membership plan, in addition to the Nintendo 64 games... Sega! Whoa! That's huge. You can play a collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. That's kind of wild. Oh, wow. This means you'll be able to play these classic Fucking games whenever echo. and wherever you'd like. I never played the Shining Force. Will include all I, I never had a game. Nintendo Switch online membership. That's pretty wild. As well as the ability to play the included Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. This is Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. Are they going to charge us more? This new membership plan will be added in late October. Of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. Fucking stupid. Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. We'll share more details about this new membership plan at a later time, including the exact release date and pricing information. They're not ready For to now, blow your however, mind yet. We'd like to announce the games that will be available when it launches. Oh. You'll be able to play the Nintendo 64 games Oh yeah, everyone here. remembers the super popular game Winback. As well as these Genesis games. Those are all very good. We'll also continue adding more Nintendo 64 games such as The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and F-Zero X, as well as other Nintendo 64 and Genesis games going forward. That's pretty cool. Furthermore, we've prepared Nintendo 64 and Genesis controllers to ensure the games can be played with the same style controls from their original releases. Uh. Both can be used wirelessly. A wireless? <laughs> These controllers will be available for purchase by any each. Nintendo Switch online Holy member. Shit. God damn! We hope you'll look forward to this new membership plan. Nintendo Switch Online plus Nintendo is bending its fucking fan base over. Nintendo Switch Holy headlines. shit, that's so much money. There's plenty to play in these collections. <laughs> what is this? Oh. Cyberpunk meets fantasy well, in this Zeke's three game collection of cult classic RPGs. As a Shadowrunner mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened and fantasy creatures have come back to life. Dude, those controllers are going to be Immersive so fucking hard to narratives, get. Skill based character growth and gripping turn based tactical combat await in Shadowrun Trilogy. Launching on Nintendo Switch next year. The perpetual struggle against hey, Count Dracula sweet. continues. Castlevania Advance Collection brings together four classic Castlevania games with deathly beautiful graphics There's and Dracula hauntingly X. epic music. The rewind, quick save, and button mapping features will also vamp up or ramp up your fight against evil. Get it because All regional vampires? versions of each game, as well as a gallery mode with never before seen artwork, oh. are included. Castlevania Advance Collection launches on Nintendo Switch. We still have 15 later minutes today. to go. This has been pretty fun. An almighty classic returns. Who? What?
classic Super NES game Act Razor returns really? on Nintendo Switch, now remastered in HD. What As the, the Lord fuck? of Light and Almighty God, only you can save mankind from the forces of Tanzra. As the hard Lord as the original? You'll wage war in two phases. First, strike down monsters in the side-scrolling action phase to liberate the lands from the grasp of evil. Master swordsmanship and as magic fuck. to vanquish all who stand in your path. Then, cultivate the lands you've liberated in the world-building creation phase. It's up to you to decide which structures will be destroyed to make way for new ones, creating a flourishing civilization. As you do so, your powers will increase, giving you an edge in both phases. Oh. Alternate between the original and rearranged versions of the beloved soundtrack and enjoy brand new music. New stages and new boss battles also await. Act Razor Renaissance descends onto Nintendo Switch later today. A new chapter is about to unfold. I think this trailer looks fine. In a pot fine in a positive way. I think it's uh, I have nothing I'm gonna stop talking and uh, let's I'm excited uh, for this maybe yeah 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 can't wait to play this one on stream Moogles, you better dis you better uh, delete that stuff. You're gonna get disappeared overnight. You better be careful. People think China's fucked up. Woo! Oh, is this a montage? Oh, hey, that, this is the game that has all those demons in it. Well, that's available today. <laughs> Two FPS farming sim. How's everything? There are still a few more announcements in today's Nintendo Direct. Koizumi-san. Oh, Miyamoto-san. Uh, what brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Uh, oh, of course. He's looking Hi, everyone. good. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Miyamoto's looking healthy. We previously announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination and its CEO and producer, Chris Melodandri-san who are known for movies like Despicable Me and Sing in making a full-length animated Mario movie for the big screen. Excuse me? Today, I wanted to announce its theatrical release timing. Ta-da! The movie will be released in theaters in holiday 2022. What? The release date for North America is on December 21st and we'll be announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions at a later timing. It'll be a while longer until we can share Bro, a glimpse of Mario in action on the big screen. Coming. But you today, your I also wanted to reveal our key cast members who will be voicing Mario and his friends in the movie. First, of course, is Mario, who will be played by Chris Pratt. He's so what? cool. Mario what? will be talking a lot in the Are movie. You Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris Sun. Next, Princess what Peach will be played fuck? by Anya Taylor Joy. Are you I can't wait to see a very spirited Princess Peach. What? Mario's little brother, God. Luigi, will be played by Charlie it's Day. Getting better. I'm How excited for you possible? to see this timid sibling appear on screen. Tell me who's playing Toad. Bowser will be oh played by the one God. and only Jack Black. This I'm is the greatest a monster movie. performance by Jackson. I'm losing my mind. The comedian oh Keegan Michael God. Key will be playing Toad. I'm looking forward to great what? comedic moments. Even though this is a Mario movie, Donkey Kong will also be this making is the an appearance. Greatest casting. He will be played by Seth Rogen. 
I'm eager for you to see a humorous Donkey Kong by Seth Sun. And of course, Charles Martinet, who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years, is also involved and will be appearing in surprise cameos in the movie. I... We also have more incredible talent joining oh the my film God. to play some of our other beloved characters. Fred Armisen is That is all I can share Kong. with you today about the Mario movie. This is a very collaborative project between Illumination and Nintendo. We've all been coming up with all sorts of ideas, and I myself am enjoying a creative process that is a little bit different from making games. It may be a while until we can share more updates, but I hope you'll look forward to it. Koizumi-san, back to you. Please look forward to Mario's adventure jumping into the world of motion pictures. I need a cigarette. Next, Are you fucking kidding me? We'd like to show me? you this. They, I don't. They could show anything right now. Like what? Chris Pratt is Mario? What is what the fuck is happening here? fucking blown you guys i am legitimately oh my god i'm sorry what yeah, hello everyone i'm a researcher from the squid research lab i've been meticulously studying the mysterious squids that can transform into humanoid form what you just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the city say. of chaos. Centered around Splatsville are the Splatlands, a place long inhabited by advanced sea creatures such as squids and octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into the city, creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, turf war appears to be a popular activity. Its basic rules are unchanged. Two four-player teams compete against each other to ink the most area. That's, that However, can't say that. The trend seems to have undergone a major shift with the existence of new main and special weapons confirmed in the footage. In the latter portion of the footage, we were able to observe activities from story mode, the single player campaign. Return of the Mammalians. Oh, there's a single player Meaning, campaign? The reappearance of mammals appears to be the theme of story mode this time around. What could this possibly mean in a world where all mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? It appears that there's still Are they gonna a close lot to with this? But we'll continue with our research and keep you updated once more results become available. 
Please look forward to more Splatoon 3. Oh my god. Updates to come. See you next time. So, what did you think? Splatoon 3, Bro, can we go back to that cast world, reveal? is scheduled to release in 2022. Are we going to talk about that cast? Please look forward to future updates. Okay, this is the last trailer we have to show you today. Please take a look. Oh, it's Bayonetta. Maybe? It has to be. It has to be Bayonetta. HQ, set the kista. Kyori, go on. Maybe? Or is this EDF? Is this a Ghostbusters game? Is Crit Chris Pratt voicing one of these Marines? Is that Chris Pratt? It's Bayonetta, right? Yeah. Nice. Bad boy. Hey, where's that ass game? Because the real ass game is bad. It seems I'm unfashionably late. But I'm ready to give you everything you want. Whoa! Whoa! Oh wow, we're getting gameplay. You know what's wild? I think the Xbox version of this game looked better. I'm not even talking about the Xbox One, I'm talking about the Xbox 360. Wait, is she controlling that? That's pretty fucking cool. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty fun. Oh yeah, look at that, 20 FPS. What you just saw was what? the latest trailer for Bayonetta 3. I thought they were going to say 2021. We announced this game in 2017, and we thank you for your patience. This game will launch next year. We hope you look forward to Bayonetta's new encounters. Nobody tell JP that movies and TV are only 24 FPS? That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. What? Are thank you, you for watching.
I'm, I might still be riding the high that the, uh, you know, the Mario thing uh, did to my brain. I'm a little discombobulated right now. Are you actually fucking serious with that comment? I think that actually might. I think you have entered the Hall of Fame of stupid comments of all time. On our uh, stream, congratulations! I, uh, we all admire your stupidity, and we hope and try to aspire to be as dumb as you are. Um, yeah, that's. We'll just leave it at that. We'll just leave it at that. Man, what the fuck was that Mario like? What can you even <laughs> like? What? Is Chris Pratt going to be doing like a fucking, mar like a, uh, a, like an Italian accent? Like, what is he doing? Like, what? Is he going to walk out and be like, yo, it's me, Chris Pratt. I'm Mario. I'm a Mario brother. And then Charlie Day is going to be like, oh, yeah, he's going to do that gift punch thing. He's gonna be, I'm your brother, Luigi. And then Anya Taylor Joy is gonna be like, I like chess. By the way, I'm Princess Peach. It's crazy. That's crazy. That's wild. That's absolutely wild. <sighs> I don't have anything else to say. I'm uh I'm done for the day. I, I mean, how like Huh, how do you even like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think in my wildest dreams I could have ever, ever have done what Nintendo just did with that uh, casting for the Mario movies, brother. The Mario Brothers movie. Mario movie's brother? What? Weird. Weird. That right there earns an 11 out of 10. They didn't... Look, I went in. Zero expectations. I came out. All right. I came out on the other end. Hype. I am hype as a motherfucker. For that. With that Mario film. Everything else looks bad. Everything else looks... Man. Man. Bayonetta 3? Uh, it's kind of, I mean... You know... I don't know. All right. Thanks for watching on YouTube. That was a weird, that might be the weirdest thing. I've seen a lot. I've, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of weird shit in, uh, in the world of video games. I think that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. How are they going to go and cast Chris fucking Pratt is Mario. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm out of here. Bye, YouTube.